should ban them altogether. There are so many other options, and the plastic really just is pollution. They're easy, they're convenient, and they're everywhere. But a group of state lawmakers want plastic bags tossed out. The task force is pushing for a ban on bags or a fee to use them. News Force Jen Schatz tells us how this could affect Western New York if it passes. Jen? Well, Jackie, how many times have you gone to the store and whoops, your canvas bags are still at home? Well, the state's plastic bag task force, which started last year, has developed some initiatives to help you remember your reusable bags, like a fee for plastic or an all out ban. This comes after a failed attempt at the county level to ditch the plastic. We asked local shoppers if if they support a ban. They're at every grocery store, pharmacy, or gas station, but they won't be for long if a state task force gets its way. It's the convenience, but I definitely would not miss it. I think we should ban them altogether. Saturday, the state's plastic bag task force released a detailed report on the bag's environmental threats and ways to stop them. One suggestion, outlawing the bags altogether. General manager of the Lexington Co-op is on board. We definitely support a statewide ban. Right now at the Lexington Co-op on Hurdle, about 30% of customers already opt for canvas bags like this one. Right now there's no charge for paper or for plastic. It's something that we've talked about, but it's not something we've decided to do. Ten municipalities in New York State currently have a ban on plastic bags. The report states they're derived from fossil fuels and pose a serious risk to marine and other wildlife. They're also a source of litter. It's unsightly. A lot of them blow around and stick in a different, you know, trees, bushes, stuff like that. Neither Topps Market nor Wegmans charge for plastic bags. We ask local shoppers if a fee would limit their use. What's 10 cents to somebody, whatever price they're going to put on the bag. Several municipalities nationwide charge five to 10 cents for them. A seven cent fee in Chicago led to a 42% dip in plastic bag use in the first month. Now, there are some concerns about a fee listed in that report. One of them is that fees could adversely impact fixed or low income individuals. There are a host of other ideas the task force has. You can see a list on all of them. Just head to our website, wivb.com. Live in the studio, Jen Schantz, News 4 at 5.